in September 26, we'll have elections to replace the National Assembly, which today is absolutely controlled by the regime. Uh, all the national polls indicate clearly that we will win at least with 55% of the votes. The questions before us in Venezuela are, would the government accept such an outcome? Would the 65,000 65, Cubans who are in Venezuela will say, well, now is the time to return to Cuba? Will all the narco-terrorists of the FARC that are under the protection of the regime will say, well, now is the time for us to return to the Colombia of Juan Manuel Santos? And all those uh, Russian and Belarusian mafias that are dealing in, in drug trafficking in Venezuela will say, well, boys, now is the moment to leave Venezuela. I don't believe so. Will Chavez, who keeps saying to us, uh, homeland, uh, socialism, or death, uh, he's meaning our death, will quietly withdraw to the barracks. Will the military, as enshrined uh, in all the high political posts of the country, will retire? I don't believe so. Venezuela is in a unique case where we in the opposition are not only facing a regime, we're facing 60,000 Cubans, we're facing the Cuban government, we're facing the narco-terrorists of FARC, we're facing the international drug mafias that are installed in Venezuela. It is a monumental challenge. Now, I hear one of the common denominators over here in Venezuela is a sort of, uh, do we have any hope before when you see that this regime has all the means, has the military, uh, has the money? And I say, you know, the great social transformations are not predictable or anticipated. And I always quote what happened at the Berlin Wall. There, is not, there was not one book, not even a single page written before the Berlin Wall fell saying the Berlin Wall will fall on such and such a date. It has happened. Now there are about 500 books written why the Berlin Wall fell. And why it fell? It fell when the citizens were uh, united, reunified, and decided that they had it. And then they marched to the, to the other side of the wall. Uh, it is interesting to note that there is not one book tells who was the first German who passed on the other side. Who was the one who called for the Germans to march? No, it was a massive instinct of the citizens. That's what I believe in Venezuela, that if we reunified ourselves, uh, the war unity uh, is, not, is a little bit meaningless if we do not reunify the country. And you refine, reunifying the country means acceptance of other people's views, uh, means not only tolerance, but acceptance of other people's perspectives and values. And that's the greatest challenge that we have in Venezuela. How do we reunify? Are we capable of reunifying the country? Because otherwise we'll never have an stable country and a stable society and a country uh, for, uh, that would not be sentenced to death like what Chavez would like it to be the case.